Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! Five minutes after nine o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. If you are older or younger, let me say it this way. If you're younger than 80 years old, then you've been paying into Social Security your whole life. If you're older, because the Social Security has been around for 80 years, I th yes. th from what I understand. Yeah. If you're older than 80, then and you started working at the age of 15, let's say, which I know a lot of you started younger than that, but if mm -hmm. you started at 15... <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't even know how to say this. Then I guess you you'd have to be ninety five in order to have never have always been paying. Anyway, I'm I'm messing myself up. Anyway, we we've all been paying into Social Security for a long time now. Yep. You get these notices every once in a while. I don't know if everybody does, but now that I'm sixty, I get these notes. I think I've been getting them ever since I was fifty. Mm -hmm. Every year or so, they'll send a, a thing on how much you would get if you retired at a certain age, right? Yeah. You ever wonder? Well, gosh, when when would I retire? Exactly. You, we've we've had the debate on this show. Mm -hmm as to whether Social Security is an entitlement or not. Mm -hmm. In my mind, it's not, because no. you've been paying into it. <laughs> exactly. You've been paying into it. You had no choice, right? Not free and, and also, when, when you are mandated to pay into something, you would think that it should be in, uh, no, no, there should be no struggle to get what is rightfully yours. Exactly. You shouldn't have to beg. You shouldn't have to have forms to fill out. You shouldn't have to know the tricks. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of like when you get in an accident with your car, you know, you've been paying your car insurance all this time, and all of a sudden, eh, I'm not so sure you should get that money, you know? You have to then get an attorney, right? Exactly. It is crazy, isn't it? Uh, Lawrence Kotlikoff has a book that he wrote with uh, two co-writers, Philip Muller and Paul S uh, Soren, am I right there? Salmon. Salmon. S-O-L. Uh, and Lawrence Kotlikoff is on the phone. The book is called Get What's Yours. The Secrets to Maxing Out Your Social Security. Mr. Kotlikoff is a William Fairfield Warren Distinguished Professor. He is a professor of economics at Boston University. He served as consultant to the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, and governments around the world. Merrill Lynch is a contributor to Forbes, the Wall Street Journal, The Economist, The New York Times. What an honor to have him on our little show. Uh, he's the president of economic security, planning, and author. You will want this book. Uh, get What's Yours is what it's called. We'll, we'll tell you how to get the book. In fact, he sent us one, so at the end of the interview, we'll give it away, the one that we have. Uh, good morning, Lawrence Kotlikoff. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning. Great to be with you. Thank you for being on the air with us. Um, this is an interesting topic because, well, first of all, the, the one thing that you probably heard me say that in the past, this comes up, and you, I actually have listeners who believe it's an entitlement and you shouldn't you shouldn't tap into it at all. I disagree with that, but yeah. but uh, that's kind of the opinion of some people. Well, uh, God bless them if they don't want to take what they earned and paid for, uh, but you know they the fact is we're paying 12.4% of every dollar we earn from age 16 on in employer paid versus plus employee paid taxes. In other words, some some of these well, actually the employer sends in all the money, that all 12.4% of our pay to the government, so it's really coming right out of our pockets. Uh, we'd otherwise get paid it directly to, it's into our pockets. So if somebody wants to make a charitable contribution to the government, God bless them, do it. <laughs> but um, yeah. uh, I think we have a system, a fiscal system. Uh, people should pay all the taxes they owe. I don't think the system is fair. Uh, I think it's totally screwed up the tax system. But people should also get back all the benefits that they are are due, and and it shouldn't be the case that some people get uh, what's theirs and others don't because they know the rules. And the Social Security system right. has 2,728 rules, which are absolutely crazy. Uh, the, the rules 
there's rules about the rules that go on into the hundreds of thousands of rules about the rules. So wow. it's indecipherable. It's a disgrace. And w- w- the three of us wrote this book. Paul's, Paul Solomon is the PBS NewsHour economics correspondent for those of your listeners who watch PBS NewsHour. He's been there for years. And Paul uh, Phil Moeller is a long-term, long-time personal finance columnist. So, And I'm a, a professor of economics at Boston University. So the three of us teamed up to write a what we think is a very entertaining book, but also one that is like a Bible of Social Security. Here's exactly what you should do in this particular circumstance that you're in uh, to make sure you get everything. And the, re- the way this book, just for me, let me just say real quickly, the way this book uh, started was I made uh, Paul $50,000 in the course of about two minutes playing tennis. Well, we just we stopped uh, from playing tennis. We took a little break. I started asking about Social Security. In two minutes, I made $50,000 that he didn't know about. Uh, I made uh, oh, wow. a friend. Yeah, I made a friend, Glenn Lowry, one hundred twenty thousand dollars. He didn't know about another friend, fifteen thousand dollars. Glenn got what? What are benefits he didn't know about? Paul got spousal benefits he didn't know about. My friend Dana got uh, child benefits he didn't know about. So I was telling Paul about all these things, and well, he personally experienced it. And we decided we should write a book, and then we got Phil involved as well. So. Uh, there are benefits that are being left on the table because people don't know about them or they take the wrong benefits at the wrong time. There's also an enormous insurance value to Social Security, which people are ignoring. You know, we're, we're focused very much on dying. You know, most people think about uh, dying probably more than at least maybe you're, uh, some people at some age start talk, thinking about dying more than they think about sex. That way, <laughs> right. And, right, right, which, uh, which is not not necessarily a good thing. And so we're obsessed with dying. So we think if we don't take our benefits right away, we could die and not get our benefits. Now think about that. If you die and you don't get your benefits, how bad is that? Well, you're in heaven. You're it's not a problem <laughs> right, because right. you've got right, right. In heaven, you got all the money you 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 need. Uh, we hope, we hope, right? You, yeah. Virgin, whatever you want, depending on your religion, <laughs> you can get whatever you want. But, yes, yes. Good but stuff. if you live to 100, the, the real risk of life is not dying, it's living. Because if you live to 100, you have to pay for yourself all the way out there. And so, therefore, if you wait uh, to take Social Security's much, much higher benefits, um, at 70, you can get a, collect a retirement benefit that is 76% higher after inflation than it, if you started at 62. So uh, the big part of what we're pushing in the book is for people to understand the insurance value of Social Security. We have to think about this as an insurance system. Social Security is like an insurance company at some level. And the focus should not be on on breaking even. We don't think about breaking even when it comes to homeowner's insurance or medical insurance or car insurance. We think about the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is our house burns down, we total the car, we get cancer. Here the worst case scenario is we live to 100 and we have to protect ourselves. So uh, being patient is rule one. Making sure you get all the benefits that are available to you is rule two in our book. But rule three is to be strategic about the timing so that you don't have one benefit wipe out the other. You have to time when you take what and be careful of Social Security's gotchas to make sure you get everything that's yours. You uh, you answered a question I was going to ask in in a, in a roundabout way um, when you said uh, it's a disgrace the way it's set up because the question was going to be what exactly was the reason for writing the book and I think when you said it was a disgrace the, the, all those rules that you cited I think you answered the question and so correct me if I'm wrong but the way I understood the the answer that I didn't even ask was that you shouldn't have to know these rules you, you you pay into it they should just say okay here's what you've got coming to you and and p.s you got this coming also but they don't do that right mm-hmm. no and they're not in a position to uh even know what to tell you because the system is so complicated they don't have the, the software i have a software company on the side uh, we have a, a program for 40 dollars called maximize my social security and we discuss it in the book so i would say that getting the book and then if you have a more complicated problem uh, getting the software, which may run for seven minutes and do 100,000 or a million cases to figure out what's optimal for you. Social Security doesn't have this software. They don't even know whether you're married, what your spouse's earnings record is, if you're married, who you're married to in the past, whether you're eligible for divorce benefits, whether you have kids, whether you have parents who can collect on your record if you pass away. They know nothing. So unless you tell them you, you don't get what, what 
what's available. There are 12 different benefits out there, not just your retirement benefit. There's 11 additional benefits, uh, child benefits, child survivor benefits, mother uh, and uh, child and care, mother uh, spousal benefits, uh, mother benefits for parents uh, watching uh, the, the children of a deceased uh, worker. There are widower benefits, widow benefits, there are divorcee widow benefits, there are divorcee spouse benefits, there are spouse benefits, there are parent benefits. If I passed away, wow. my 96 year old mom would collect, my mom, 96 year old mom could collect uh, uh, 82.5% of my really? full retirement benefit. Yeah. Wow, and I never knew that. Your, your child. Yeah. Wow. But no, my, my mom. My mom could. My no, I know what you're saying. Yeah, I, you're you're the child. Is what I meant. Yeah, mm-hmm. I didn't yeah, know that. Child. Yeah, and, and you have a, a lot of listeners there in Florida who may have taken their benefits early, and they have an option at full retirement age to, to suspend the retirement benefit and start it up at seventy at a thirty-two percent higher level. So I want to make sure that your listeners know that, because I believe you are in Florida, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. And, and a lot of people that. there may have taken. Yeah, there's an option to suspend your benefit and start it up again. Oh, I didn't know that. But you can suspend it and start. Only, it, so yeah. then you would. So you would end up getting. So so it's a mistake to to uh, get your benefits to sixty two. It's uh, generally a mistake. There are some cases where taking your benefits, uh, your retirement benefit early, and then uh, suspending it at full retirement age, starting it up again at seventy, is optimal because you can uh, initiate uh, benefits for your children and your spouse. For example, you might have a disabled child who became disabled before 22, you have a non-working spouse, you can get them both benefits, if, but only if you file for your own retirement benefit. Now, why their benefits uh, should be dependent on you're not, on you're collecting your retirement benefit and also, you know, is is a good question, but that's the way the thing works. Uh, okay. And an it, earnings test. Yeah. An earn, earnings uh, test. It, does assets test? Is there an assets test? If I have a million dollars, but I'm not having, but I have no income other than maybe the the uh, interest for my million dollars, is that is that considered? No assets test. Uh, the earnings test has no real logic to it. It's just uh, inhibiting people from working. Actually. If you lose benefits for, due to the earnings test, they kick them back up. They give they give you higher benefits at full retirement age. So, for many people, the earnings test is not really an earnings test. So it's it's basically a, a provision where the government uh, t- uh, in, induces you not to work for no particularly good reason. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. wow, that's crazy. Okay, wow. um, I, I know we have some listeners who want to uh, ask you questions, and I would love to hear what their questions are because we all learn from all these questions. Uh, we do have to take a little break, though. The book is called Get What's Yours. Lawrence uh, J. Kotlikoff is on the phone. Where are you calling from? Where, where are you? Uh, I'm, in, I'm in Boston. In Boston, okay. Uh, he is one of three authors. The other one is Philip Moeller, and the third one is Paul Salmon. Uh, get What's Yours. We'll talk about the book some more and take your questions. So if you're online right now, I know you're there. Um, give me a second, or not a second, but it looks like uh, two and a half minutes, actually. And we'll listen to commercials and the weather, and we'll be, we'll be right back. <laughs> The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. It'll be partly sunny today with a high of 84 right on the coast, but about 90 inland. Partly cloudy tonight, though 66 inland, 72 at the coast. Tomorrow, partly sunny with a high of 82 on the coast, 89 inland. On Friday, sunshine and some clouds. There may be an afternoon thunderstorm, the high 83 at the coast, 88 inland. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Central Florida Eye Institute is the area's leader in laser vision correction. From high-definition refraction surgery and LASIK vision correction to custom cataract, glaucoma, and diabetic treatment, you can count on Dr. Crowley and his effective, friendly staff to provide you with the quality care you deserve. Call 352-237-8400 for an appointment or more information. That number again is 352-237-8400. Looking forward to service your vision needs. Cookies, 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 cookies. Wait, when you cookies, want something cookies, special cookies. and fun for any occasion, get cookies. That's right. The Great American Cookie Company in the Paddock Mall Ocala will make a delicious, fun-filled delight just for you. You might notice that I said fun and delicious more than once. That's because I can't say it enough. The next time you're at the mall, be sure and stop by or call 352-237-2557 to place your order. Cookies, cookies, Yum. cookies, cookies. We go cookie-eating cookies. The Great American Cookie Company. 
Keep up with what's going on in the downtown area with Ocala Downtown Newspaper. Delivering thousands of newspapers to businesses in the downtown area, Ocala Downtown is there to keep you informed. They even have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs. And all we ask in return is that you tell them where you heard about it. It's simple. For more info, just call Tom's Picks, 352-804-1223, and pick up your copy of the Downtown Ocala Newspaper today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper online. If you're anything like I was, the thought of getting older was the last thing on your mind. But here we are. For me, it started slowly. The lack of energy. Never being in the mood. And when I was, I could never perform at my best. I tried the pills and other treatments with minimal results. And all but given up on my sex life. Then, I found the doctors at New Mayo Medical Center. Wow! They made a new male out of me. Feel like I'm 25 again. I have renewed vigor. So much more energy. And no longer worry about my performance performance. New Mail treated me like my situation was one of a kind. With a custom treatment plan that really works, I feel great. They can create one for you too. It does not matter if you suffer from low testosterone, erectile dysfunction, or just want to last longer. New Mail will help you. Call New Mail Medical Center today at 352-404-4779. 352-404-4779. That's 352-404-4779. It will change your life. 352-404-4779. 20 minutes after 9 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Wednesday morning. By the way, portions of this uh, this program are brought to you by Dr. Thomas L. Crowley, a board-certified ophthalmologist right here in Ocala. In fact, not too far from the station, not too far from the Paddock Mall. The uh, location of Dr. Crowley is at the Central Florida Eye Institute where you can get LASIK surgery, cataract surgery, diabetic eye treatment, and everything associated with your eye care. Uh, and they are located at 3133 Southwest 32nd Avenue, just across from the mall on the Sears side of the mall. Give them a call at 237-8400. And thank you, Dr. Crowley, for sponsoring part of AM Ocala Live. All right, let's get back to our guest. Uh, Lawrence J. Kotlikoff is on the phone. Uh, we've been talking about Social Security. The book that you get the information from is called Get What's Yours, The Secrets to Maxing Out Your Social Security. And we've already learned some amazing things that I, I never would yeah, have known. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, uh, there's, it's full of all full of all kinds of things you wouldn't have thought about and it's become a national bestseller it's a uh, new york times bestseller list for 11 weeks is that right so, wow well good for you, you know, but yeah it's uh i mean but it's a statement also what you were saying at the, at the beginning there that we should not need a, a national bestseller to help people figure out what they what they learn that, yeah <laughs> that's I, that's that was a thought i had as i was looking at it. all right let's uh, allow some listeners because i've been making them wait a long time good morning thank you for waiting you're now on the air with lawrence kotlikoff uh, good morning, Lawrence. Uh, I'm in my Hi. mid-70s, along with my wife, so I guess we're beyond uh, any real true uh, adjustments to be made. But I'm just wondering if you uh, know anything about income annuities and how that would affect what we are receiving in our uh, Social Security now. And uh, uh, also the fact that I do have a a pension and a 401 that I have to, you mm-hmm. know, was mandated to. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I hear you. Taking disbursements from, and and sure, like sure, that. Sure. So we'll, I'm just wondering we'll, uh, we'll be, uh, if uh, income annuity would it cause anything to change. I keep hearing that the uh, we're going to be seeing means testing down the line, and uh, I'll hang up and listen. Thank you. All right. Thank okay, you. Sure. Well, yeah, yeah, sir, you are uh, beyond uh, making any changes to your actual benefits. The the only thing that you're getting hit by right now is... Lawrence, are you there? And, hi, <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, you blanked out for a little yeah. bit. The only thing, just okay. go, go back to the yeah. beginning of what you okay. said. Yeah, yeah they, uh, the gentleman, the caller uh, is too too old and his wife is to uh, change anything with respect to his Social Security, their Social Security benefit collection decisions, but uh, Social Security benefit taxation under the federal income tax is still hitting them. So this, the government gives you something with a left hand, and then uh, if you can figure out exactly what it is, uh, you get it, and then they take it away from you with a right hand and through the federal income tax. Now, the caller was interested in, in, in uh, uh, annuities, I'm a big fan of annuities that are coming from a safe insurance company, well-rated insurance company, and that are fully inflation protected, that move dollar for dollar with the inflation. 
so that you're not getting a stream of income that becomes worthless when prices go out the wazoo. And the Federal Reserve has been printing money out the wazoo for eight years now. So we have to be very concerned about future price increases and future inflation. So I'd be careful about anything that's not 100% inflation index, not graded, but inflation index when it comes to annuities. And yeah, that can have some implications for your Social Security benefit taxation. But I think on balance, it will uh, would be a good thing if you could buy inflation protected annuities uh, because they'll continue if you live to 120. And that's really the big concern, as I started out saying at the beginning of the show, that uh, we don't have to, we shouldn't be worried about dying when it comes to financial matters. We should be worried about living. All right. Uh, let's take another call. Good morning. Thank you for calling. You're on the air with Lawrence Kotlikoff. Yes. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, with Social Security, uh, if you plan to leave the country and live somewhere else, can you collect Social Security out of, out of the United States? Yes, you can. You don't have to live in the U.S. to collect. And you can have a, a, a spouse who's not an American uh, who's collecting a spouse benefits and survivor benefits on your record. Hmm. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. So, so if if you're making a fortune off of your book and you're 69 years old, <laughs> do you, do you, do you no longer get Social Security? I mean, if if we hit any kind of a windfall, do, do does it cut off the Social Security? Up to um, uh, 85 percent of your Social Security benefits are subject to taxation under the federal income tax. So you won't lose 100 percent of them. Absolutely not. And uh, I mean, the federal the top federal mat rates around 39 percent. So. You know, we're talking about um, losing maybe a quarter of them through federal income taxation. Uh, there's also potentially state income taxation, so maybe you can lose 30% of your benefits. Uh, so, yeah, it's uh, the system has, has, and also, you know, Medicare, there's a Medicare premium that's also, it's not really connected to Social Security benefits, but that has to also be thought about because if you have, higher income above 250000 in the case of married couples or single people, 200000 there's a special Medicare asset test, and there's also a higher Medicare asset income tax, and there's also a higher uh, Medicare, there's an extra Medicare labor income tax, and there's also um, higher Medicare premiums that kick in mm. uh, oh my for, gosh. for Part B. So, yeah, the system is... Um, you know, the, the the government is hiding all these uh, taxes in uh, in volumes of laws so that we can't see them, so we wow. can't see what our government's doing to us. And, and the book is selling well because the average person is able to understand what you've written and and therefore benefit from the information. Does some does somebody yeah, who's well, it's, yeah, go does, does somebody who's been on um, uh, what do you call it, social security disability? Let's say they got hurt when they were fifty. And now there's and now there's sixty whatever, and they're of social normal social security age. Does anything change for them, or do they, are they locked into whatever it is that they were collecting when they got hurt? Well, if they're under full retirement age, which right now is sixty six, when they reach full retirement age, their uh, their disability benefit becomes their full retirement benefit. But they can suspend their benefit and start it up again at seventy at a thirty two percent higher level, over and above any adjustment for inflation. So. Even the disabled have an option uh, to uh, get a higher benefit if they can hold off taking payments for four years, which is a big if for a lot of wow. disabled people. Yeah, but, really. Uh, really. Yeah, that's hard. Or, you know, maybe I, yeah, it's hard, and uh, it also depends on whether their maximum age of life is. You know, if they're, they're absolutely not going to make it beyond eighty, then this may not make any sense. Uh, right, right. So it very much depends on how long you think you might live, uh, not me, when you expect to die. Yeah, but go ahead. Let me squeeze in real quickly. We've got just about a minute left. Good morning. You're on the air. Thank you for calling. Hey, good morning. I'm really disappointed I didn't have an opportunity to listen to you from the beginning. But if you're 62 years old, name just two things, the two most important things to do to prepare to collect Social Security, and I'll hang up and get the answer. Thanks for being on the air. Hmm. All right. Well, if you're 62, and let's say you're, just as an example, you're divorced after having been married for 10 years, well, what you can do is wait till full retirement age, and if your spouse, your ex is above 62, you can collect just a spouse benefit, get half of your spouse's full retirement benefit, and then at 70, take your highest possible on retirement benefit. So that's an example of getting a spousal benefit, a divorcee spousal benefit, and then getting a retirement benefit. 
at its highest wow. value. Uh, yeah. And wow. That, wow. Uh, All three things. And if you're married, you can also do one of the two of you can do that, not both of you. So there's actually an advantage to being divorced. Uh, oh, wow. We talk about that in the book that there's an advantage. You know, Social Security gives you know there's an incentive for people to get divorced. Wow. To let both of them collect spouse benefits and then right. get remarried. Lawrence, we're out, up against the clock. Getwhatsyours.org is the website. Getwhatsyours.org. Call me if you want the copy that was sent to us uh, and look for it on Amazon, etc. Lawrence Kotlikoff, thank you so much. We'll be right back. Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. A scandal rocking the world's most popular sport with members of soccer's governing body arrested. The U.S. Justice Department says nine high-ranking FIFA officials have been indicted. Two are vice presidents. Swiss police arrested seven executives this morning ahead of a FIFA meeting in Zurich. They face extradition to the U.S. on 47 counts of corruption involving racketeering, wire fraud and money laundering. Fox Radio's Kitty Logan. Texas still recovering from the weekend storms gets another so Mother Nature kept it coming yesterday, dumping almost a foot of rain across the Houston area. Hundreds of vehicles stranded. Fox Radio Steve Rappaport. The search continues for 11 still missing. And quadruplets born prematurely to a 65-year-old German woman still in intensive care in Berlin. Doctors say they're gaining a little weight. The mother is believed to be the oldest woman to have ever delivered quadruplets. Fox News. We report. You decide. The more you learn about your insurance coverage, the more gaps you might find. Like how you thought you had enough coverage for your fine art. <laughs> you broke my Gwen Lioness sculpture. When you aren't even covered for your not-so-fine art. <laughs> you broke my Mr. Banana Lamp. Or how you're probably covered for hitting this car. But maybe not covered for hitting this car. Talk to a farmer's agent about what gaps might be hiding in your insurance. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. At Choice Hotels, we know business trips start with a choice. Stay or go. You can press send or press palms. Start a chat room or chat in an actual room. Just remember, opportunities won't come to you. you got to get out there to get things done. Should I stay or should I go? Choicehotels.com makes it fast and easy to find a range of choice hotels like Comfort Inn and Suites. So stay with us for business and book now at choicehotels.com. You always have a choice. Friday, May 29th, kicks off the second annual Ocala Bike Fest. It starts at Harley-Davidson of Ocala, where you'll find vendors, beer, food. It starts at 11 a.m. with a live DJ till 3 and live music from 3 to 7. Then Saturday starts off at Ocala Indian with a poker run at 10.30 a.m. It all ends up at ARC's main campus on Mayor Camp Road, where you'll find bike games, 50-50 drawing, beer, and live music by the Blues Busters, Rusted Steel, and more. The best barbecue restaurants and food trucks in town are going to be there competing for the title of the Ocala Bike Bike Fest's best barbecue, and most importantly, the chance drawing for the hardest decision you'll ever have to make. A brand new Harley or a brand new Indian? That's right. This year's winner will choose between the Harley or the Indian. Indian or the Harley? The 112-year battle continues. Which bike will go home with the lucky winner? The public is welcome to all events. No motorcycles needed. Come out, have fun, and help a great cause all at the same time. Friday and Saturday, May 29th and 30th. For more information, visit OcalaBikeFest.com. If you're anything like I was, the thought of getting older was the last thing on your mind. But here we are. For me, it started slowly. The lack of energy. Never being in the mood. And when I was, I could never perform at my best. I tried the pills and other treatments with minimal results. And all but given up on my sex life. Then, I found the doctors at New Mayo Medical Center. Wow! They made a new male out of me. Feel like I'm 25 again. I have renewed vigor. So much more energy. And no longer worry about my performance. New Mail treated me like my situation was one of a kind. With a custom treatment plan that really works. I feel great. They can create one for you too. It does not matter if you suffer from low testosterone, erectile dysfunction, or just want to last longer. New Mail will help you. Call New Mail Medical Center today at 352-404-4779. 352-404-4779. That's 352-404-4779. It will change your life. 352-404-4779. What you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. <laughs> Tell her you love her at least three times a day. I love you as a very short shelf life. We get used to sleep deprivation. After a while, our brain starts to think it's normal because sleep loss affects the part of our brain that controls self-awareness. We may be too zonked to know we're zonked. All right, here we go, ladies. The uh, latest...